The first thing I did for episode 3 was I wanted to make a big set piece of the city of Sora. Blanca. Ah. Looks like this isn't Earth again. You think? Oops. And of course that was done by having one massive piece of foam board. It was an uh, A2 piece, I think. And cutting bits out and turning them into the right shape to... Um, to to make it seem like a big city a big city piece i wanted to have the billboard lighting type neon signs that you get in sort of blade runner-esque films so i i printed out signs that were in like a jedi star wars language and i stuck those on but i cut the back out so then when i sh shone light through it was just thin paper so they they glowed when I animated with them. And of course by having one large piece for the um, set, I was able to reuse it over and over again. And it would, and it, yeah, maybe you can tell that it is the same set over and over again, but it's big enough that I am able to reuse it and at least it seems like a busy city with lots of people moving around. I and mean, that was the most difficult part of animating episode 3 was trying to keep it seem like a busy city by animating as many people moving as I could around Megan and the Doctor doing what they're doing in the story. I decided I wanted all the cars to look the same. I did a few tests. I had the Enterprise. I had a silver car. But I settled with having this little orange transformer car as the car to fly past. And of course that was done with both green screen and just having the car really close to the camera and Megan and the Doctor really far away. So it seems a little bit bigger than it is. Maybe the perception is a little bit off, but I still think it works. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to not miss another behind the scenes video.